cap, team captain's always ready. And look at you three, the ones making it all happen education-wise. Guys, what is going on? I'm loving the energy in the studio right now, and it's a big day because we have our students looking good, guys, and our teachers from Ocean City Intermediate School in Cape May County, New Jersey. They're right next to the ocean, but today they're in the classroom. The show lets students try to prove that they are, in fact, smarter than their teachers. Easier said than done. The best schools, well, there's one of them right here, and they showed up ready to deliver with the love today. Yeah, baby, what's up, guys? They're here to see who wins the big money. We got $500 and bragging rights on the line. We're not wasting any time. It's time for a pop quiz. Let's go. I can't stop smiling. This room is packed with some good people today. I love it. Grab your buzzers, guys. We have 90 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is going to be worth 10 points for your team. You buzz in first. Just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get it wrong, your squad locked out, but the other team's going to have a chance to buzz in and steal. Pop quiz. That energy level needs to go right here, guys. We're playing. Here we go. Starts right now. Which is the only U.S. state that starts with the letter R? Here we go, Mrs. Tornbloom. Rhode Island. Rhode Island, R.I. What is the name of Riley's former imaginary friend in the movie Inside Out? Bridget. Bing Bong. Bing Bong. Nice, that's fun to say. What is the broad term for the prehistoric period in which humans used primitive tools that ended when they began working with metal? Buzzer, stay silent here. Stone Age was the right answer. Here we go, Stone Age. Black, white, and what other color represent the colors of the Philadelphia Flyers? Dr. Brown. Orange. Orange, the orange and the black. That's right, extra credit. Ooh, this one's worth double, guys. 20 points on the line. Complete the popular expression. Don't put all your eggs in one. What? Miss Pickett's. Basket. Basket is right. Gonna get you guys to 40 points, up 40, 10. In a solution, what is the term for the substance that is being dissolved by another substance? Miss Pickett's. Um, solvent? Incorrect, for the steel. James Bria Bridget. You guys have good I don't know faces, that's good. <laughs> Salute is the right answer there, and we move on. What type of flightless bird lives in the southern hemisphere, uses its wings to swim underwater? Team Captain Bridget. Penguin? Penguin is right. Ben Grimm is part of the Fantastic Four and traditionally known by what superhero alias? Mrs. Tornbloom. The Thing. The Thing is right. I had to think about it for a second. And that is it for Pop Quiz. Shut her down. No more questions in the Pop Quiz. 50 for the teachers, 20 for our students. That's what we got. We got a nice game, nice start here for everybody. Team Captain Bridget over here, two right for you there, 20 points. How you feeling today? Pretty good. You should. We have $500 on the line if you win this thing. Where's it going to go? Uh, we'd like to put it towards school improvement projects. Nice. Anything in particular? Maybe like artwork in the hallways or something. Awesome, right? Pay some kids to make yeah. some artwork. Now that's the plan. I love it. <laughs> Teachers, 500 If you guys win it, where's that going to go? Uh, we have an annual overnight trip to Stoke State Forest, so oh, we'll perfect. go towards that. Do you ever lose a kid in the forest? Uh, no. Not that we know. <laughs> right? Okay, well, you, you can buy a tracking beacon, put them on the kids. You'll never lose one again. All right, it's time for a change of pace, guys. We're sending somebody to detention. <laughs> Guys, put your buzzers down because you're going to work together as a team on this one. Detention works just like this. I'll give the trailing team a category so students stay ready. We're going to go to you first. You have 10 seconds to decide whether you want to play or if you want to pass it to the teachers. You choose to play, you answer the question correctly. You get to send anybody to the, of the other team over into detention, which, I mean, you don't want to be there. If you get it wrong, you could end up there yourself. If you pass, the same eliminations will apply. They have to answer the question. You get everyone into detention. 40 points is going to your team here. So students, let's do this thing. Category, social studies. We're gonna play it? Yeah. Okay, here we go. The Indian Removal Act forced Native Americans to leave their homelands in the 1830s and take a difficult journey west, commonly known as what? Morgan Do you think Morgan Deep in thought, we need an answer, guys. Teachers are dying for this one. Uh, we're gonna say the Oregon Trail. Tough one, it was the Trail of Tears, guys. Oregon Trail, by the way, is one of the best video games of all time, but that's not gonna get it done. <laughs> Teachers, they gotta send somebody to detention. Bridget. 
Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're gonna send Bridget. Bridget, team captain, <laughs> sorry to go, but you have to leave. Oh, Bridget, we're sorry, but your first one of many, I promise. <laughs> Category. Space teachers. Do we love space? Do we hate space? How are we feeling about it? Feeling. We, we love, love space. it. We love it. Let's do it. One of the eight planets in our solar yeah. out of the eight planets in our solar system, which one has the most known moons? Using the three-person method, everybody know, gets yeah, a try here. Will they come up with the right answer? Yes. Guys, that's the bell. All right, we think Jupiter. 79 known moons. Jupiter is right. <laughs> and how about this? James, Bria, one of you is going to detention. It's up to the teachers to decide who's yeah. going to be. We're going to send Bria. Bria out of the game? Oh, no, James. Oh, no. You're looking at me like, man, please don't do this, but I have to. I have to continue this game. Listen, you get two right and they get one wrong, you win this thing. You can do this, all right? With a head of hair like that, I believe in you. <laughs> Category, bud, is children's books. Okay. Close, close to being a child? I'll go for it. He's going to go for it. I love it. Fill in the blank. As written in the popular children's book, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. A told B and B told C, I'll meet you at the top of the blank tree. Coconut? Yeah, that's exactly right, my dude! What? Can you do that to everybody? Like, you just pose the, I have no idea, oh, no. but I'm gonna go with coconut, Richard. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Okay, well, there you go. James, you get to send one of your teachers to detention. That made my day right there. Dr. Brown, Miss Piggins, or Miss Tornblum? I'll go with Miss Tornblum. Miss Tornblum, sorry, you're out of there. Our seventh grade social studies teacher. All right, James, sit right there. See what I said? You only have one more right if they get this one wrong. Category, music terms. How do you feel about music? Do you love to sing? Do you love to watch music videos? I don't know if we feel confident, but we know he does, so we'll play. Oh, yeah. that is some serious gamesmanship. Here we go, guys. In music, the term piano means that music is meant to be played at what volume? Softly. I think piano is softly. Uh, we think softly. That is absolutely right. That's going to get it done. And teachers win detention. James, I don't even have to say, but you got to go to detention. Students are filling it up, and teachers are getting some points. That brings it up to 90 for the game here. Hey, don't go anywhere. I got to hang out with you guys. Some of these guys are going to show off their drawing skills in art class when we come back. I'll see you right after the break. everybody look at this how about this show today this audience has been on fire they're from ocean city intermediate school in ocean city new jersey home of the red raiders we're looking like the american flag out here with the red white and blue guys looking pretty good look we got a big game today how about some of these players where do you guys meet them hi i'm bridget i'm in eighth grade and i'm really excited to be the student council president hi i'm james i'm in eighth grade and i have a dog named sushi hi i'm Bria candela and i'm in eighth grade and this year i'm going to be student council vice president hi i'm megan i teach math and my oldest son is named carson after carson Wentz. hi i'm corey i teach science and i'm currently 34 weeks pregnant <laughs> hi i'm michelle i teach social studies and my dad was a really big trivia person that's six good players right here and look where we're at we got the art supplies ready it's art class time All right, here's how this game will work. Each team selected one player to draw. The trailing team will go first, so I got my man James up here ready to rock this thing. He's gonna select a card with a word or phrase hidden inside this. He's gonna have five seconds to draw for his teammates, and they're gonna have 10 seconds to decide, what the heck are you drawing? If they get it right, they're gonna get 30 points. But if the team guesses incorrectly, I'll give you a couple more chances, and the points will decrease each time as we go on from there. I have a red card and a blue card. Pick your one. 
Don't open it quite yet. We're gonna get you all set up. You can move behind here as we get you ready. You can open the card and look at it. See what you're gonna be drawing as your teammates are like, what's going on back there? Well, I'm gonna tell you in just a second. He's looking at it. You got the word? Okay, you're gonna have five seconds to draw as much as you can when I say, the time starts as soon as I say draw. You ready to go? Get ready, draw. Five seconds on the clock. His teammates are anxiously waiting. Stop, pen down. Teammates, you're gonna have 10 seconds to come up with one guess here. If you get it right, 30 points for you two. Good luck. No help from the audience here. You have your guess? Yes. You think it is? A car. A car? Incorrect. Okay, no 30 points bonus right there. We're gonna bump the points down to 20 points. I'm gonna give you another five seconds to draw on your existing picture. Five more seconds, get ready, draw. Wow, nice addition there. Okay. <laughs> All right, are you good with that, James? 10 seconds, I can't wait for you guys to see the updated photo. Here we go, 20 points on the line, guys. 10 seconds, one guess, good luck. Talk it out. They're whispering, even though it's not a secret. There you go, guys, need an answer? Uh, we're gonna say a broken car. A broken car? Still incorrect. And here we go, last round. 10 seconds for you to finish this drawing up. 10 seconds on the board. Get ready and draw. Yeah, you can add on, you can draw new, okay? <laughs> Wait, do you guys see what he's added at this point? This is good. Okay, uh, I gotta be it. If you can't see, he did more of this back there for 10 seconds than he did. Here you go, guys, last chance. 10 points on the line here. What is it? Our class is tough, James. All right, Bridget, we need an answer. Bria, you think it is? A pickup truck? A pickup truck is right! See, we just had to change the format. James, you can grab a seat. That's gonna be 10 points for our team. Let's get in our next artist as our teachers are coming in here. Bria, Bridget, that was excellent. What gave it away there that it was a truck? Um, well, I mean, it kind of looked like a truck. Yeah, you had it going. <laughs> just a lucky guess. Okay, we're gonna give our next teachers, here we go, Miss Pickett's, good luck. As we jump into our next round, you can take your card, you can get yourself you. ready. Teachers, Miss Tornbloom, Dr. Brown, you guys ever take an art class? Many years ago. Okay, well, good luck. Ago. Here we go. Miss Pickett's <laughs> is going to look at the card. She's ready. Ten seconds on the clock. Five seconds on the clock. Good luck. She's drawing here. Stop. Here we go, guys. Ready? 30 points on the board for yours to grab. What is it? <laughs> Talk it out. I'm, I'm Peach Umbrella. Uh, that's me. Okay, Answer? We, we think of Beach Umbrella. Incorrect, and we go back here. 20 points still on the line. Five more seconds. Stop. 20 points on the board. Good luck. Dr. Brown, what do you think? Uh, just the beach. Or beach. Just the beach is right. There you go. 20 points for you guys. Bringing you up to 110. Two great artist work there, guys. Nicely done on both sides. All right, before we go to break, and this is a good one here, there are more points on the line. I'm giving some extra credit right now. Okay, I'm gonna ask one extra credit question, teams. Both of you will have one minute during our commercial break to write down your answers. Hey, if you're at home, play along. 10 points is on the line right here. Good luck. In what classic children's card game do players ask questions like, do you have any threes to try and match their cards in their hand or else draw from the pile? There it is, do you know it? I'm gonna give it to you when we come back. We'll see you right after the break. Students and teachers from Ocean City Intermediate School in Cape May County. Scores teachers 110 for you guys, students 30 there. Before the break, I asked both teams this extra credit question. 10 points on the line. In what classic children's card game do players ask questions like, do you have any threes to try and match the cards in their hands or else they have to draw from the pile? Students, we're going to start with you. Bridget, you ever play? Go fish. Teachers, you said... 
Go fish. We got a double right answer. There's 10 points aside. Good job, guys. That's what X Credit's all about. As we're smiling, just keep it smiling because we're going right in for a picture day. You guys ready? Grab your buzzers. We're going to show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing. We covered them with boxes. I'll give you three clues, one at a time with each clue. We're going to remove three of those boxes that are covering the picture. If you get it, buzz in, correctly identify that picture, 10 points for your team. But as always, if you get it wrong, your team is locked out, and the other champ's going to have a side to buzz in and steal. We have three pictures today. Let's do it. Here's the first. Clue number one. They were named the new Global Ambassadors for Puma in 2018. One second. It's a solid branding deal, but we move into clue two, give you three more boxes. This group has an army of fans. James. BTS. Is that BTS? Sure is, man. There's the army. Get you guys up to 50, and we continue on with picture number two. Here's your clue. It can be found in Washington, D.C. Clue number two. Let's get three more boxes, please. Good luck, guys. It has many different names on it. James. Declaration of Independence. I don't know. Is that the Declaration of Independence? I don't know. Yeah. That's it. That's what James does. He guesses right, apparently, on all his questions. Good job, buddy. Nicely answered there. Hey, guys, let's move to picture number three. Students, you guys could sweep this round here. Let's do it. Clue number one, cover them in boxes. Good luck, guys. It has been a bestseller since its launch in 2017. Mrs. Tornblum. Is it the Nintendo Switch? Is that the Nintendo Switch? Sure is. Good job. No idea what gave that away right there. Great job, Ms. Tornblum. All right, guys, teachers 130, students 60. Guys, this is a good game going into our final exam, and it starts right now. Here's your topic, guys. It's historical people all about them. Who's going to know it? I'm going to ask teams three questions about our topic. You get it right. There's 100 points in your pocket. You're going to write down your answers during the commercial break. No writing quite yet, guys. I'm going to give you the questions first. Question one, final exam. Let's do it. What is the first and last name of the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean who later disappeared during a flight around the world in 1937? There's question one. Here is question two. In the Lego movie, what U.S. president, who is also a master builder, takes off after Emmett's speech? Question three, historical people, good luck. What founding father was appointed the first postmaster general of the United States in 1775? There they are, three questions that will crown someone champion right here in the classroom today. Students, 60 points. Teachers, 130. And we come back. The students are going for the comeback win right here on the classroom. Before you go, you guys want to be a part of the game? Your school can be right here. Here's how they can do it. Does your school want to be part of the game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. nervous going into this? You're ready, right? You're ready. You got it. I love it. Welcome back into the classroom today. We have students and teachers from Ocean City Intermediate School going head to head. Right now, the scores teachers 130, students 60. But I'm telling you, the students were feeling it during the commercial break. They said, Richard, I know all about historical people. So let's get into it. Three questions, 100 points each. Someone's getting crowned champion right here on the show today. Let's do this thing. Question one. What is the first and last name of the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean who later disappeared during a flight around the world in 1937. Bria, you got the smile on your face, but did you write the right thing? What'd you say? Amelia Earhart. That's exactly right, getting you up to 160. <laughs> Mrs. Tornblum, you also have a smile on your face. What did you say? <laughs> Amelia Earhart. All right, everybody's getting it right. We got a full round there. We moved to question two. In the Lego movie, what U.S. president, who is also a master builder, 
takes off after Emmett's speech. James, give us that I'm not sure James look and then give us the right answer. Um, Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, that's exactly right, buddy. And teachers, look to hold on here. Miss Pickett, you said? Abraham Lincoln. Wow. <laughs> they stay on the lead. And how about this? Ocean City, you guys are coming down to the final question. What founding father was appointed the first postmaster general of the United States in 1775? Bridget, get this wrong, and the teachers win the game. You said? Benjamin Franklin. That's exactly right. She puts the pressure on the teachers. Here we go. Teacher, for $500, bragging rights to say you beat your students. Who's taking that money back to Ocean City? We're sorry. Ben Franklin. Oh, the teachers are doing it. 430 points and 360. Come on out here, students. You guys played a heck of a game. Teachers are walking away with the big check. And you are showing up again for the next time when we get right back here on the classroom. James, give him the look. Give him a hair flip, baby. Give him that hair flip. Guys said I'm a